Hey guys, um, firstly I just want to say sorry, I'm still a bit sick so I might be a bit unenthusiastic. <laughs> but anyway, um, today we've got custom size dolls. These are from AliExpress and they're, they're everywhere <laughs> now actually. Um, yeah, they call themselves custom dolls or like new face dolls. And I just thought it was a bit of an oxymoron that they're called custom dolls when they're mass produced. But anyway, I was really curious, so I thought I'd buy some and have a look at them. I've already opened the box a bit because it came to me battered. So I just checked that everything was okay. Like I said, I got these from AliExpress. They're about 5 to 10 AD more than the normal fake blides. Yeah, I don't know, I'm curious. Anyway, we're gonna find out. So some clothes. Um, hands. Um, I bought two because I saw there were like two different styles of painting. What am I trying to say? <laughs> there are two different face styles. So there was ones with red lips and ones with like more pink. And this one. Um, I don't know, like obviously these dolls have been casted, if you guys know anything about BJDs, like you know the whole recasting, I think these dolls are quite similar, I don't know who made the original doll, if they've sold their doll to the factories with permission or not, I don't know, so I'm not sure how I feel about these, but anyway, here's the two I got, this one has the red lips and this one has like the more pink, so let's open them! Okay, so here they are. They're pretty cute, not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna get a closer look at them. And this one. So you can see they're both made with that matte plastic. It's kind of like rubbery, soft feeling plastic. Their faces are exactly the same, just painted differently. And I've got one of my stock dolls here. So, so we can do a comparison. You can see how little, little her nose is compared to hers. And then the different shapes in the lips as well. I wouldn't personally purchase one of these dolls to customize. Um, I don't see that there's much room to move <laughs> as a customizer. I don't think you could really change the expression of the doll that much, especially these tiny little noses. I don't think you could do really anything with that except maybe add a bit of detail, but yeah, I really don't see them as a tool for customizing. And I think because of that, I'm kind of having a hard time justifying them the normal, normal, um, yeah, the normal fake dolls, I kind of bat an eye to because I see them, oops, as a tool for the new customizers. But these girls, I really can't see them being of much use in that circumstance. And just on that note, be wary that there are some people, unfortunately, who do purchase these, repaint them, and sell them for hundreds of dollars. It's unfortunate there's people like that in every community so just need to take note of if you are looking to purchase a custom doll have a look at her face if she's got a tiny little nose like this and this looks similar maybe compare pictures ask the customizer about who the stock doll was or the original doll and just be aware of what you're buying because unfortunately there are people trying to make a quick buck off these dolls. So yeah, I don't think I have much else to say. I did originally intend to keep one of these dolls and actually repaint her and give her away as like a 1000 subscriber thing if I ever reach a thousand. 
but I'm kind of struggling morally about keeping them. So I don't really know what to do. Um, I'll probably just end up selling them and do something else. But what do you guys think about them? Would you purchase one? And if you would purchase one or have purchased one, what was your intention for them? Um, I hope I'm not offending anyone. I'm just genuinely curious and having some thoughts about fakes in the blind hobby, kind of rethinking some things. So I am interested to hear what you guys have to say and what you guys think about them. Um, yeah, I know custom dolls are very expensive and maybe these are a good substitute for them. Personally, I would just rather not have a custom doll. But I do know that some people solely collect fake dolls or factory dolls. Yeah, I don't know. I'm having a hard time with this, as you guys can tell. I do think they're cute, and obviously I have spent my money and purchased these too. Um, but yeah, just curious. And I did want to make this video and put out that little warning and buyer beware sort of note. But what do you guys think? Please let me know. Please, please, please don't take offense. I really hope I didn't sound too mean, but I'm just having some struggles with this whole fake buy thing at the moment um yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions and thanks for watching guys i hope this was informative and i hope you did take something out of it whether it be that you want to purchase one of these or they're just a bit more aware of the dolls you're buying so yeah thanks for watching and have a good day bye guys Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't take the plastic headband off for the video, but anyway, this girl doesn't have eyebrows, but this one does. And I just thought it was really cute, and I wanted to show you guys. It actually looks really nice. Um, yeah, still, still struggling about how I feel about them. I originally did want to keep one for a giveaway when I reach a certain amount of subscribers but I don't know how I feel about that let me know what you guys think would you like to see one of these girls excuse me <laughs> would you like to see one of these girls as a giveaway prize or do you feel a bit morally uncomfortable with them yeah let me know what you think I think I'm done with this video <laughs> thanks guys bye